Remember the case of Army First Lieutenant Clint Lawrence, we brought it to you on this program, who was fighting the war on terror when he ordered his platoon to fire at three Afghan men who were approaching on a motorcycle as they were on a patrol. Now he's serving a 19-year sentence in Leavenworth after being convicted of two counts of murder on the battlefield. And a new docu-series is examining the case. Watch. I had dreamed of the time where I would become a platoon leader. He was the hardest working soldier that ever worked for me. The military justice system can be manipulated. Clint's was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's my job to get the guys back home safe. Clint Lawrence's version of events are a lie. It was an illegal order. I was the army scapegoat. Was this someone who sought to do what was right? Or is it someone who just disregarded procedures? You hear from Clint himself in the film. So is this new series an accurate portrayal of the case? Joining us now is Jamie Lorenz, Clint's first cousin, and Don Brown, a member of Lorenz's legal team, and the author of the book, Travesty of Justice, The Shocking Prosecution of Lieutenant Clint Lorenz. Thank you both for being here this morning. Don, I'll start with you. This, this is a five-part series on stars about Clint's case. Accurate or not? Should folks watch it? Par partially. Uh, the, the documentary, I don't believe, is designed to tell the full picture. It's designed to create controversy. If you want to read a review, the New York Times had a decent review. It says it doesn't give any answers. The documentary does some good things. Pay attention to Colonel John Maher, the founder of our, of our defense team, a leading biometrics expert who exposes biometrics expert. The Army hid, hid evidence that Clint killed Taliban bomb makers in this case, Pete. And so the documentary does a good job there. And we're trying to hit that even harder now. I'm, really holding, yeah. I'm holding a report right here, right. which you got released through FOIA, which shows that the right. bomb makers that Clint's platoon, the guys that Clint's platoon killed, the, the folks on the motorcycle, were tied to, were bomb makers. Absolutely. The government held that from the initial defense team. Uh, Colonel Maher, who founded our defense team, discovered that through contacts in Afghanistan. Then we FOIA'd, we filed a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit, Kevin Mikashek and John Maher, against the government, and they coughed it up. What you're holding is hot, red hot evidence that Clint Lawrence killed the enemy, and yet he's serving in prison today. Seven years already, almost, on a 19 year sentence. And we're respectfully calling upon President Trump to bring him home before Veterans Day, do the right thing, as you just pointed out, uh, Baghdadi was killed, al-Baghdadi's been killed today, mm -hmm. and Clint Lawrence went over there to take care of guys like that. All he was trying to do was protect his men to keep them from going home in body bags, and this country treats them like that, 20 years to an American yeah. paratrooper, it's time to put an end to it, Pete. Jamie, he, he raises the point. This morning, we have the great news that al-Baghdadi is dead, because men who we asked yeah. to go serve in a foreign land were willing to go kill him. Your yes. cousin did the same thing, led a platoon in Afghanistan. There's a common tactic of the enemy. Approach your patrol on a, on a motorcycle. They could be a suicide bomber, who knows? In this case, we have the evidence now that they were members of the Taliban and bomb makers. Yet he's in prison at Leavenworth. Yes, sir. Your response? Um, I would really like to call upon President Trump to just take a look at this case, look at all the facts, and let him go, let him free, and let him, he would, he would happily go back and fight again. He's not turning his back on it. He wants to do the right thing, and he wants to help his country, just like he's already done. I would really like for President Trump to look at it himself and make the decision himself, because if he sees all the evidence, he can't turn an eye to that. Because as we've learned, whether it's this case or Eddie Gallagher right. or Matt Goldstein, which is ongoing, right. the, the military justice system can and will be manipulated by prosecutors who want to put our guys behind bars, and they'll hide evidence, yeah. too, evidence that would set someone like Clint mm -hmm. free. It's become corrupt. This case is not even a close call. It's a slam-dunk defense win. We should not be prosecuting warriors who kill the enemy. Clint Durant, and we, we prepared the paperwork for the president to sign. The defense team, 15 seconds to the president's time, and this travesty of justice can end. Uh, but we can't be prosecuting our war fighters. President Trump, in, on Memor on uh, Fourth of July, asked for young men and women to come in the military. Mr. President, you got to have their backs. You can't let them get prosecuted for killing the enemy. Now is the time to do a great act of righteousness and end this. And once you've gotten print plan out of prison, stop this junk against Matt Goldstein too. That prosecution should never go forward, and this travesty should end today. I, this documentary shows that, and. New information I got on Matt Goldstein's case just in the last couple of days. What they're doing to him to hide evidence right. is unbelievable. But here's another clip from the trailer of, of the film Leavenworth. Watch. When I saw them, I went into this panic. These men were terrorist bomb makers. There's about 100 different versions of what happened. 
There were political influences in the army, and there might have been a rush to judgment. This type of war puts people into situations where there's no right answer. These can be life or death calls with consequences for either decision that you make. Jamie, when viewers hear from Clinton himself, what are they going to hear? They're going to hear a true American hero. He will let them know that he will have their back. He will fight for them. He 100% believes that he made the right call that day, and he will stand behind that. He, he made a split-second call mm -hmm. against an enemy. And let Don, last word on, on... Well, she's right. It's not even a close call. It had to be done. He would make that call again. Less than 15 seconds, he had to make a decision to keep his men out of body bags. He said open fire, and the Army prosecuted him to protect Obama's uh, kill, rules of engagement, which yeah. put the Taliban ahead of American soldiers, and we must end it now. Absolutely. Jamie, Don, thank, thank you very you. much thank for you your time. Me. We appreciate it this morning.